What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Stocks with Mike and Tom show. We had a couple huge earnings reports today, including Google, Microsoft, AMD, and Robinhood. So we're having a lot of volatility in after hours. In today's video, we're going to be covering some of these major earnings reports and some of the best setups for the rest of this week. Make sure to let us know what stocks you are watching in the comments down below, and we can cover them in tomorrow's video. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe we post brand new videos every single day but Tom I know we had a couple huge earnings reports today in the after hours what's going on yeah we had a couple big ones like Google Microsoft we even have AMD reporting right now and they're going all over the place but it seems like Microsoft is really outperforming most of them right now and they this actually comes as they reported a 22 percent year over year revenue growth, which is pretty good. Obviously anything over 20% is just amazing. And Microsoft's such a big company that for their revenue to grow 20%, that's pretty good numbers. Their revenue is at 45.32 billion versus a 43.9 billion expected. So that's pretty big beat on the expectation, let alone the year over year numbers. So sounds good for them. Their EPS was a 2.27 versus a 2.07 estimate. And as we can see, they're up a lot right now in after hours. They might always open up tomorrow a lot lower, but right now this sounds pretty good with the revenue growth. Exactly. So Microsoft is definitely a powerhouse. And, you know, just like over the what past couple of weeks or so, um, it's been doing very, very well. And it's just awesome to see some great numbers reported. And then I know we're kind of skipping around a little bit, but um, while Microsoft is popping up, uh, Robinhood is actually tanking down. What's happening with that one? Yeah, they actually are falling short of expectations with the lighter crypto trading. Apparently, they're reporting uh, a lot less trading volume than than expected in the crypto markets and just in the in the overall options market as well. And it really hurt them. We can see that their EPS was estimated to be negative one point three seven, but they came in with a negative two point oh six. That was actually a a pretty bad number there. And as we can see, they're tanking off in after hours pretty hard. And, uh, and uh, you know, lots of people have been looking at Robinhood lately, especially with these numbers. And, you know, we were kind of expecting maybe an uptick in volume with Tesla and Bitcoin going off lately, but it seems like the volume is staying away. Exactly. So, yeah, it's definitely, it definitely sucks to see that, you know, it definitely did take a pretty big sized hit. So I just thought that was interesting, you know, because uh, I know with Bitcoin going crazy and all these other cryptos, I would have expected uh, Robinhood to report like increased trading activity, you can say, but either way, that's definitely interesting to see. And then what's going on with Google? Yeah, Google actually had pretty good earnings as well, but their stock is not moving too well. But as we can see, they reported a 27.99 EPS versus a 23.126 estimate. So they beat their EPS by quite a bit. The revenue was pretty good. They came in at 65.12 billion versus 63.34 billion. Then Apple's ad revenue is actually showing growth as businesses reopen from the pandemic. But they did say that Apple's iOS changes are creating some challenges in the ad market. So that's coming straight from CNBC. And it just that doesn't sound too good. I know lots of companies have been talking about Apple's iOS and kind of like the ad market lately. So it's been a, a really weird scenario with that. But I feel like the earnings were pretty well. And I feel like that maybe by open tomorrow, we might get a little bit of a pop to the upside. But as we always know, these earnings are always a coin flip. As we can see, they had pretty good earnings, but it's just not moving too good. Yeah, good stuff. And like, look what happened with Tesla, you know, like after they reported they were going all over the place, they were like selling off at market open. And then, you know, they just exploded up right after their earnings report, you know, they went from like 850 up to just under 1100. And while we're talking about Tesla, this one had a wild day today, it broke all time highs uh, of basically $1,094 in 94 cents. It went crazy, like it had a lot of upwards movement, but a ton of sellers came in too. Yeah, it really did. You know, it, it's trying to hold support. I'd say there's that big $1,000 psychological level right here. You know, we got pretty close to it today, touching like a thousand one. I just, I feel like that that thousand level um, will hold up as a pretty good support, but we'll just have to see what happens. Cause if it breaks this to the downside, I could see a little bit of a pullback come in here, especially after how explosive we've been over the past couple of weeks. Like you said, ever since that earnings report, 
Tesla's just been straight up and those that earnings was crazy. Like you said, it was really flat to down. And then we saw that explosion come in and Tesla broke all time highs. And, you know, we might see the same thing happen with Google, you know, Microsoft's at all time highs and they're running right now in after hours as well. So I know big tech has been killing it the past week and I'm just glad to see Tesla leading the way, but for tomorrow, Mike, I don't know. It's going to be pretty hard. I think this pullback is pretty significant here. I'd love to see Tesla keep going up, but it's just pretty hard to say with how they came down like this. Yeah, I mean, they're one of the most volatile stocks in the market. And then on top of that, plus when you have them like, you know, at all time highs and there's a lot of people talking about them, no one knows like what's going to happen with this one. But I definitely think it's worth keeping on your radar because it's just so volatile. And a lot of times there are a lot of opportunities to like day trade it. So uh, definitely keep it on your watch list. And then like the last major stock they reported earnings today uh, as of right now was AMD. How's that one looking? Yeah, they're actually doing pretty well here in After Hours. And there was actually a bad report that came out today where Intel CPU came out and it, and it apparently is 50% fast, faster than the Ryzen equivalent. So that sounds pretty interesting there. But AMD is popping up here in After Hours as they hit new all-time highs today as well. And it looks like their earnings so far are going pretty well. They reported an adjusted EPS of 73 cents. And I feel like that their revenue, it just seems like a pretty good you know, move out of AMD in general. The main problem right now is that there's just all these chip shortages and stuff like that. So I feel like their earnings are just going to be all over the place. But as of right now, we can see they had a little bit of a pop up. Now they're coming back down. As we can see, as I've been talking, it's just been going all over the place. And I would expect that by open tomorrow, they might have a little bit of a pop back to the upside. I really like AMD for the long term and they're in an awesome sector. And even NVIDIA had a pretty nice pop up today also. Awesome. And then we can't forget about DraftKings. So DraftKings had a pretty good day today. They didn't report earnings, but they had some big news come out that they are no longer interested in Intain. So they had like a huge $22 billion bid to acquire Intain, which is a uh, pretty large competitor, I guess you can say. And um, they just abandoned their bid and they aren't really worried about it. Uh, similar to what we saw PayPal do earlier in the week when they said that they are no longer interested in Pinterest, their stock popped up and we saw some similar movement with DraftKings. Uh, I'm a huge fan of DraftKings for the long term. So it's great to see this type of movement. And I'm hoping that we get like, um, like the uptrend, like I guess you can say, um, like revived Tom, because in, I guess you can say September, this stock was just exploding up. And then ever since they uh, came out with that news about buying in Tain, the stock has definitely struggled a little bit. Yeah, it really has. And it also hit a couple of resistances right there too. It just, it wasn't a good combination, but I will say it is moving pretty well off of this technical on the, on the long-term chart right now. You know, this bottom blue trend line has been holding up pretty well. And we actually just bounced off of it before we had this news come out. And, you know, I'm not saying that the, the bounce caused the news to happen, of course, but either way, it seems like a pretty good thing going on for DraftKings with that technical bounce and the news. So who knows if DraftKings could break up through $50 and then hold that level, I think it could have a pretty good next couple of weeks. I'm with you. And then guys, if you guys are looking for a group to trade with, definitely check out the first link in the description and the comments down below and join our Discord chat. It is completely free and you can network with a bunch of other traders. Um, we have some free day trades in there each day and we just have a great community. And like I said, it's completely free. So uh, come join us and network with other traders. Again, it'll be that first link in the description and the comments down below. But Tom, let's get right into the momentum plays for tomorrow. And with the first one, we have Pfizer to the upside. Yep, and with Pfizer, go ahead and make them break out above 43.80. Sounds good. And then with the next one, we have Corsair to the downside. Yeah, and with Corsair, this one, unfortunately, has been breaking support lately. Make them fall below 24.37. If they break that in pre-market, then make them fall below 24.25. All right. And then with the last one, we have Baba also to the downside. Yeah. Unfortunately, Baba broke a pretty big support today as well, but make them fall below 167.50. All right. So we are watching Pfizer to the upside only if it breaks above the level Tom listed. Then we are watching Corsair and Baba for potential day trades to the downside only if they break below the levels Tom listed, but it is now time for our member of the day. And that is Sandra. So huge shout out Sandra. Thank you so much for 
leaving all the awesome comments on the YouTube channel. Comments really help us grow and we really appreciate them. So thank you so much, Sandra. Huge shout out to you. And then let's get right into the comments from the previous video. We have Bravo saying, sup guys, uh, I added more DraftKings at the $46 range today, or he said that yesterday, and he said he's hopeful for a decent play moving forward. So that was basically perfect timing. I know that news was um, pretty random, but it's awesome to see the stock moving like this, and um, I think that's a pretty good decision. Yeah, definitely. I thought it was awesome as well. And he bought it right on that technical level. I don't know if he saw the technical or not, but either way, awesome timing. And I'm glad to see it. I really think the DraftKings might get a little bit of a boost back up here. You know, that deal seemed to really made them go down there in the short term. So hopefully we get a bit of a recovery soon. There we go. And then we have Sean saying, great video, hopped into plug today. I hope it's on. Thanks, Mike and Tom. Let's go. So awesome comments, Sean. Plug's not looking too bad. I know it was down a little bit today, but generally speaking, it's holding its ground pretty well. Yeah, I had a really up and down day. It was down intraday, but as we can see on the daily chart, like Mike said, it's holding up pretty well. And I feel like there's still a pretty good chance for this one to pop up later in the week or possibly even tomorrow. Awesome. And then we have Raw saying, can you cover Chewy soon? What do you see? So I really like Chewy, C-H-W-Y. I feel like it's at a pretty awesome level and ideally it'd be a longer term play, but I feel like some short put options could be great, some shares or maybe even some leaps, but all in all, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. It's actually right at support. I love the sector that they're in and they're a pretty good company. You know, I know I personally used them a couple times. I think they're pretty good. Here we go. So, Tom, do you have any last minute stocks, options, or anything you are watching for tomorrow? You know, I'm still watching those earnings. You know, there's definitely lots of earnings for tomorrow. We have some pretty big names tomorrow as well. In the morning, we're going to have Boeing, General Motors, Coca Cola, McDonald's. I know General Motors actually just unveiled the new Corvette Z06 today. The pretty awesome car. You guys should check it out if you uh, haven't seen it yet. But some pretty good earnings coming out Ford, Teladoc, Twilio, um, Align ebay and, and uh in after hours so definitely lots tomorrow six flags might be pretty interesting with how COVID and everything's been going i know spotify has been pretty big lately as well so definitely some big names i know boeing is actually at some pretty key levels right now and they're going to be reporting earnings tomorrow while they're right at support so hopefully they can come out with some good numbers and possibly get a nice boost back to the upside i know lots of people are watching boeing and i know lots of people are also pretty interested in general motors there we go. I really have my eyes on Teladoc. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this one because it just doesn't have like a ton of hype right now, but they had an amazing past couple of years. And I feel like that they're at a really good level. And I know uh, Kathy Wood from ARC is um, pretty bullish on this one. And I just feel like it's a pretty good setup. Yeah, definitely. And that implied volatility is starting to really pop up into these earnings. So it seems like they're expecting a pretty good move to happen. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to join the Stocked Up Discord chat. The first link will be, or the, it'll be the first link in the comments and the description down below. It is completely free and you can network with a bunch of other traders and get some free day trades. So definitely check it out and come join Tom and myself live at Market Open every single day on the Stocked Up Live YouTube channel. The link for that will be in the description down below. But other than that, Thanks for watching.